Hey guys, welcome back to another Tip Tuesday. My name is Jacob, and today I'm going to be telling you about the lifelong impacts of your transcript and how it carries from high school all the way into your career life. So, let's get to it. All right, so there's a couple aspects I want to talk about this, but the first aspect is on GPA. Your GPA is your academic credibility. It shows what you've done and what you're most likely going to do. Now, all right, so the first point I want to make on this is scholarships. Most scholarships require a certain level of GPA for you to receive them. So the lower the scholarship, it's usually the lower the GPA, the higher the higher GPA. Here at Carl Albert, we have the scholars program, which requires a 3.0 GPA. You know, everything else kind of goes down from there. It goes from like 2.5 to 2.0 to 1.7. So be sure to keep your grades up so that you can get the scholarship you want and the scholarships that you need. All right, this point two of this kind of flows in from scholarships is about financial aid and your PACE requirements. If you don't meet your PACE requirements, which is 1.7 for a freshman and 2.0 for a sophomore, you could lose your eligibility for financial aid just strictly based on your GPA. So be sure to keep your grades up so you don't have to pay any more money out of pocket than you have to. And the third point on this is admittance. Some colleges don't allow students to attend there strictly based on their GPA. So be sure to keep your GPA up so you can get the college you want and get the college that you need. The second aspect I want to talk about this is letter grades. Letter grades hold huge weight in the minds of employers and colleges who are thinking about taking you on. Now grades like A are obviously going to push you further and grades like F are going to push you further away from your goal. But if it comes down to it and you really can't pass that class, you can opt in for taking a W if it is within the drop date period. Drop dates are continuous throughout the semester, but the later you wait, the less options you're going to have. So the earlier, the better. And that's it for this Tip Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in. Be safe and have a great week.